Hello and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty and if you would like to check out the game there is a link in the description and we are just about to go and speak to this fellow once again I believe he's the the elder of the village and uh, yeah we should really speak to him and make sure that we know exactly what he wants us to do next the valley is treating me nicely so far. Oh, yes, thank you very much. That's wonderful. But you come at a poor time. My duties as a castellan await me. And we say, of course, I understand. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's... I'm uh, not sure, to be honest. There's been a mur... Oh, dear. There's been a murder. I shouldn't laugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Yes, that's a, it's more nervous laughter, I suppose. Anyway, oh, my. I thought things like that don't happen here too often. Well, great. I mean, not for the deceased, obviously. But there's that excitement and mystery the valley is lacking. Should I really? You know what? I'm going to say the second option because I think that's hilarious. Oh, how I miss being that young and stupid. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Oh, don't be too harsh on yourself. You're still plenty stupid. <laughs> wow, the dialogue. The dialogue is, is really good, actually. Hilariously enough. All right, it's a serious matter, but I believe there is someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He was one of us. All right, I'll go there right away. Calling Sambor friendly is like calling being stung by a bee right in the tip of your manhood. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, I will be on my way then, sir. All right, so where is he? He's up there, I assume, right? That's him? Yeah, I assume that is him right up there. Okay, now that that might be um, is it is it easy for me to get to there? I think it is quite quite easy, I guess. And there is actually another task here as well, but I'm not entirely sure. It's over here. It is a moving target, so no doubt someone has something to say to us, and maybe they're going to need us to do something that we can potentially complete along the way on our journey. Wait a minute, who is it? Ah, one of these people. Hello, sir and or ma'am. Good work. Uh, I'm looking for a new place. Ah, uh, no, but we haven't met yet. Doesn't it get bored or boring over time? Oh, okay, yeah, well, we're, we're going to see what he wants. Okay, Alwyn's story. He wants, obviously, uh, to, for us to do something, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that along the way. Let's actually just take a quick look at the journal just to make sure we know what he's doing. All right, he has a little problem uh, with the neighbor's son. The kid should find something interesting to do to stop harassing Olga. Uh, Alwyn mentioned how at his age he pretended to be a knight, the defender of ladies with a stick sword. Maybe it will solve the problem. And we can deliver to Dalabor a stick. Right. Okay, I should probably do that first because he's only 22 meters away, as you can quite clearly tell. So it shouldn't be that far away. And I have a number of swords already, so I might as well just do that. Hello there, sir. I mean, <clears throat> child. I mean... Uh, Sunny Jim, I'm not entirely sure what to call him, to be honest. You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? Uh, no, but I know quite a lot about them. Did you know that many of them started learning to fight with a wooden sword already at your age? Where could I get such a sword, not a knight? <laughs> he says. You know, the script is actually extremely amusing, at least to me. We're going to give him a stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick. To surprise your opponents. And do you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? They ride horses? Well, this is well, but most of all, they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? Sounds like a lot of work. Well, yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. All right, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I am going to defend those in need. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to be getting a little bit of additional reputation, of course, and we can now return to Alwyn and tell him that we were successful in, uh, shall we say, pulling the very, very minor wool over that child's eyes. Anyway, there we go. I have solved your problem with Dalabor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one does not listen to anyone. Well, you gave me an idea with that stick and the story about a knight. By the way, I got this bread from Dobromira as an apology for her brother's behavior, but I think you've earned it. Here, take it. All right. Ah, our Castellan's wife makes them in the local tavern. Oh, do you happen to know the man in charge? 
Well, no, not really. I spend most of the time in the field, and our paths only cross when it's time to pay some taxes. Isn't that always the way? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so waiting for the next summer for Alwyn's story to continue. And if I go to uh, Dobroniega's story, then you can see here, years left until questline expiration, 18. So it will literally take 18 years for this to expire. However, Alwyn's story expires in six years. So it's good that we actually completed most of that. We just need to wait for the next summer now. Find out what is wrong with the rye delivery. We should probably do that, eh? Might make sense. Uh, 36. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's right over here. Do I need to speak to Alwyn again? Are you serious? No, I don't. Uh, I have to speak to this, this person. And I have no idea how to say her name, so I will not even attempt it. Um, I've heard that you are the one that supplies rye to the tavern. Is that right? So? Uh, I'm sorry, is this not a good moment? Forgive me. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just dealing with some personal issue. Well, I don't want to intrude. Just wanted to ask about the rye situation. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to say, is everything all right? I don't want to bother you with my problems. You're not bothering. I'm eager to listen, if you'd like that. Well, a long time ago, I made a major mistake, and the consequences of that decision are troubling me now. What kind of mistake? Marrying an idiot. Oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. No, I think we can understand that. Believe me, you don't. Well, how exactly does his doubtful intellectual prowess trouble you? Last night, he was supposed to sell one of our cows in the market. I told him specifically the price he should sell it for. We need the coins now more than ever. And can you guess what he comes back home with? I'm going to assume three magic beans. What do you think? Nothing? A handful of seeds. Ah, yes. Uh, someone told him they were magical. Magic seeds, can you imagine? Moron. Okay, well, is there anything extraordinary about the seeds? They weren't even seeds. It was just a bunch of rabbit droppings. I'm going to lose my mind because of that man, I swear. I would love to say something uplifting right now, but damn, he really does sound foolish. Can I do something to help? Thank you. That's just what I needed to hear. There's nothing for you to do, sweetie, but I appreciate, appreciate the offer. Letting me vent a little was more than enough already. It was a pleasure. Can you tell me more about that rye situation now? Unfortunately, we won't be able to provide the rye this time. The crops are all diseased and pretty much unusable. Alwyn, why are you in my way, sir? Are you serious right now? Look at him. Uh, as if I didn't have enough problems already, but don't worry. I ordered a delivery of rye from Rolnika. It should be here yesterday, actually. Don't know what happened. Nadar is usually very prompt. Maybe you could go see him and check if everything is all right. Well, that's oh, that's what I'm going to do then. Okay, so where is Nadar? Nadar is very far away, as you can quite clearly tell. He seems to be all the way over there in Rolnika. So, first of all, we will go and do the main chief's quest. They have the same expiration date. So, that shouldn't be too bad. So, let's go and do that. And what else do we need to do? Ah, okay, so we actually do have a main quest here as well. Because now that we have a house, it is time for us to hunt a wild animal, set a rabbit trap, survive for a season, get a stone knife, a wooden spear, and so on. So it's probably a good idea that I check all of that first. Okay, I can make a stone knife really, really easily. Because I already have all of the, you know, all of the resources on me. And uh, yes, there we go. Okay, we made that. So now is there anything else that I can make? Okay, I'm going to need to make a spear as well. I need logs for that. So let me actually just get out my gonna get out my axe and I'm just gonna cut down a tree right here boom there we go timber ah, I shouldn't say that every time right okay well whatever the case let's just uh, chop this up into logs I'll take one log thank you very much and now I will be able to make a spear there we go that looks good to me fantastic all right so now that we have a knife, I'm going to put the knife on three, and I'm going to put the wooden spear on four. And now we need to do something else. We need to set a rabbit trap and hunt a wild animal. Okay, well, uh, let me see. Where is... Uh, I have no idea about traps. Ah, hunting. There we go. No, that does not help me. 
Okay, extraction, services, production. What about animal husbandry? Does that actually help me? No, that does not help me. Ah, uh, what about this? No, that's an orchard, a barn, fields. Yeah, that does not help me in the least. There must be something here that allows me to build a trap of some kind. Surely I would be able to build the trap right here. But that does not appear to be the case. So I'm going to assume that maybe it's somewhere else. Hmm... What about furniture and decorations? There we are. It's under furniture and decorations. Can you believe that? Why is it under furniture and decorations? That makes no sense whatsoever. It should be under hunting, no? Oh, well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, let's make that rabbit. Oh, actually, we made it already, and apparently we just need to place it. Okay, so what I will do is I will go and I will place this near to my house. Alright, so there we go. I've actually now placed down the rabbit trap. Now, hilariously enough, I actually did just see a rabbit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my... <laughs> really? Okay, this is the spear. And uh, I'm going to try and use it to hunt a rabbit. I think I just saw one. Where is it now? It was around here somewhere. I saw it hopping around. And uh, it would be nice if I could find it again, but I assume it's going to run away from me. What do you bet? Oh, you can actually... Oh, you can actually throw the spear too. I had no idea that you could do that. Okay, that's fantastic. Ooh, cool. Okay, because I was thinking to myself, the uh, pokey pokey attack is probably not going to do that much in the grand scheme of things. Is that it right there? Do you see it? You see that right there on the horizon? Is that a rabbit right there? I think it might be. Oh, berries. I should probably collect some. They are no doubt going to be poisonous, so they will kill me instantly. Don't worry. All right. Well, let's have a look here. Okay, yeah, no, that, uh, that did not work. See, now, here's the thing. That's the one thing that I am unsure of and uh, how to do it, because obviously there's a little bit of a, a drop when you, when you uh, throw your spear. And I was un un unsure whether there was any drop at all or whether I needed to be, uh, you know, modifying my angle of attack, so to speak. So let's just let the rabbit run along a little bit. And we will then try to get it. There it is. Is it is it going to remain running away? Is it literally just going to run infinitely or something like that? I hope not. But I have laid a trap, so that should make that should make a difference. But now I'm kind of now I'm kind of worried because I'm thinking to myself, did I miss my only opportunity? Oh, wait a minute, what's that? It's a badger. Uh I don't really want to personally. I don't really want to kill badger. Oh, ah, uh, okay, it's it's murdering me. It's murdering me. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Okay, there we go. We finally got it. Okay, we, we took it down. And uh, now, now we can skin it. Okay, so thankfully, the knife actually does deal some damage. Because if it didn't, then I was going to be in a uh, rather sore spot. But uh, yes, thankfully, there we go. I actually thought the spear would kill it immediately, but apparently it doesn't. I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I would have expected a large spear like that. I mean, even though it is wooden, I'm not entirely sure why we didn't make the spear out of stone. It kind of makes sense that you'd be able to make a spear out of stone, no? Because we are making other things out of stone as well. For example a stone axe, stone pickaxe, and even a stone knife. So I should theoretically be able to attach the knife blade to the end of a, well, long stick of some kind and then create a stone spear out of that. So even if the issue was sharpness of the point of the spear, and that is the reason why I wasn't able to kill the uh, badger that soon, then obviously, well... Uh, that's easily rectifiable, but apparently that is not the case. Anyway, I'm just going to 
just going to drink there and we're just going to take a look at where i currently am okay so i will be able to go across here oh look at how cool this is nice nice little bridge right there gotta say i feel like the water is very refreshing to look at and it seems very clean as well so obviously i don't really mind um you know don't really mind drinking from that at any point and we just now have to survive for a season, which should be very easy because I do have a lot of food still remaining in my inventory, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be that bad. Hello, hello, friends. I'm just going to put away my knife so that you don't think I'm a raving lunatic that is coming to murder all of you. I actually wonder whether you can even do that, to be honest. Medieval GTA, you know. I mean, you can get a mount, so maybe it's more like uh, Grand Theft Horse. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue to just pick up a couple of things along the way. I actually want to pick up some more stones if I can. There we go. There's one. Just because I only have two at the moment, as you can quite clearly see. And that is obviously not so good. I'm going to pick up some unripe, unripe berries. I probably shouldn't pick up too many of these unripe berries, to be fair. Because they're probably going to result in me dying or... They're going to be very bitter indeed. I'm going to pick up a couple of mushrooms here as well because you never know. You might be able to uh, make a soup of some kind. Maybe like a mushroom soup or a mushroom stew of some kind. That might make sense. And uh, yeah, we should also do this. There we are. And that is only 400 meters away. So it shouldn't be too long until we arrive. Uh, yeah, that might be a little bit problematic. There is a wild wolf here, or some kind of wild, aggressive animal. I'm not entirely sure what... Oh, uh, 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 okay, yeah, that, that's, that's a problem. That is indeed an issue, so I'm going to run away from this as fast as I possibly can. That would not... Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage as well. That does a lot of damage. Okay, yes. Fighting, falling, or ignoring negative statuses may cause you to lose health. Losing all of it will result in death. You regenerate health by sleeping in your bed, eating healing herbs or herbalists' potions to cure wounds. Okay, well, I would like to uh, potentially run as far away from this as I can. Is it literally going to kill me right now? Are you serious? Okay. I think I might have... It literally stopped attacking me because I'm standing on this box or because it can't reach me or something like that. I have no idea, but that is hilarious. All right. Happy with that. Suffice it to say, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to eat this flatbread because I am uh, kind of, well, needing a little bit of food. And unfortunately, I... Uh, can I sleep? No. Of course not. It's not my... And this guy literally just stood here doing nothing. He did not help me in the least. What an absolute imbecile. Okay, we'll I'll speak to him and see what he says. I think you're lost, boy. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb. Wait a second, look me in the eye. And stop shivering for crying out loud. Huh. Black and blue. You're Eorden's family, aren't you? Yes, my name's Rakamir. You must be Sambor, then. And how do you know that? I was talking with Unigost. He told me that you were a part of the Reminders as well. Part of what now? Um, the pack? The one with Unigost and Jordan? I've never heard this idiotic name in my life. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, maybe I've made a mistake. We were called the Undying Fist. Oh, my. Uh, that's so much worse. That's a whole lot of a better... I, personally, I feel, I feel like that's a better name, so I'm going to say that's a better name. You're damn right it is. That's because I came up with it. Everyone loved it. No idea why Unigost lied to you like that. I'm sure he was just jealous about your creativity. Of course. Uh, of course he was, and not only about that. Anyway, I would love to hear some stories about my uncle and the pack's adventures together. That's an amazing coincidence, because I would love to spend my time telling the old tales by the crackling fire. Oh my, really? No, leave my property and forget where it is. Oh, come on. It will only take a moment. A moment of a moment, really. Just tell me, what was my uncle like? How did you become part of the... Re I, I mean, the Undying Fist? And, um, what did you do exactly as the pack? You don't know what we did? Unigos didn't get to that part. Uh, all right. But be quiet and try to be less annoying. Hmm, where should I begin? Right. It all started when Jordan left his home. He was 18 at the time, if I remember correctly. 
That clever bastard was always too big of a fish for his birthplace, and he knew it. We left as soon as he could, but cleverness at such a young age always means two things. Being arrogant and hot-headed. His plan was to set out on a big adventure, that's it. Pretty detailed, huh? A path like that is paved with skeletons of young idiots, but none of them was the order either way. He was wandering for days, days soon turned into weeks, and his rations into dust. He was useless as a hunter, back then at least, so berries and mushrooms was all he could get, so obviously he needed some coin. He came across a manor with orchards so vast they seemed like an ocean. He all and hired himself there. A week of back-breaking labor had passed. His hands were covered in blisters, skin red from the scorching sun, knees pulsating from pain. I must say, you're really an amazing storyteller. I wasn't expecting that. Shut up. Do you want me to finish? Uh, where was I? Oh, right. He was exhausted from all the strenuous work he's done, went to the lord of the manor with a smile on his face to collect the payment. His stomach was already full with fantasies of all the delicious treats he was dreaming of buying, and all of that was ruined by the hand of the lord holding a couple of lousy coins. The Alden was furious. That was merely a fraction of the pay he was supposed to acquire. He started shouting at the lord, demanding justice. Peasants were just flies to the lord, disgusting, replaceable insects. And what do you do with a fly which buzzes too loudly? Both of the lord's palms struck Yorden's ears with the strength of the ox. Yorden fell to the ground, stunned, and the lord's guards threw him out of the manor like garbage, stealing that few pathetic coins while doing so, if I may add. It wasn't until evening when Yorden regained his hearing, and with it came a fervent thought thought of revenge. Your uncle was quite a capable fighter when I met him ten years later, but he wasn't back then. He knew the guards would massacre him if he only came close, so he needed to find another way to fulfill his vengeance. Yorden was always ambitious, but that hatred fueled him like nothing before. And what happened next? What came later was me becoming bored of this conversation. Go away. No way, you can't leave me like this. I can do whatever I want. Scram. I have things to do. What things? I'll do them for you. I'll do anything you want. Just please tell me the whole story. Damn, you're annoying. Please, 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 please. Fine. Just shut up already. Just say what needs to be done. You won't regret it. Here, grab this shovel. It's a piece of crap, but it will do. There are clay deposits behind my house. Go there and dig up some clay for me. Clay, that's your pressing need. You have a pottery addiction or something? I'm going to say on it, boss, instead. There we are. All right, on it, boss. Okay, so we need to dig up clay deposits and, indeed, clay. And it has now turned to night because I have taken way too long in retelling that story. And I do apologize, but I thought it was actually quite fun to uh, recount that as much as possible. Okay, here's, uh, here's a torch. And uh, there's the torch going away again, because I'm actually thinking that I will have to, um... Well, I wonder whether I can actually sleep. Oh, look at this, I can actually rob him as well. That might make sense. Maybe when we start to leave, eh? Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.